What I want to talk about in my five minutes is how to work more efficiently downstream with very, very large data sets from CAD files. We're just about to um, launch XVL version 10. Um, we're currently on version 9. And one of the major attributes of that is we can take very, very large assemblies, shrink them to about 0.5% and sometimes a little smaller of the original size without any compromise of the accuracy that you have in the model. So that means if you measure something on the CAD model and you measure something on the XVL file, it's going to be the same size. So this is my little spot the difference slide. Um, on the left you have a 1.63 gigabyte CAD model and on the right you have a 6.5 megabyte XVL file. And if you zoom in on the CAD model to that area, you're going to see something like that. If you zoom in on the XVL file to the same area, you're going to see something else that's exactly the same. No compromise in accuracy. So rather than keep showing slides, I thought I'd actually show the actual product. So I'm going to sit down and show you what we're looking at here is the XVL player embedded in a PowerPoint slide. Here I have my um, CAD model. There's actually 10,000 components in this model. And you can see me afterwards and count them if you like. They're all here. Every nut, bolt, washer, rivet, screw, everything's here. And they have associativity. I can click here and you'll see that it highlights in the model or I can you know, just click anywhere in the model and see something else over there. It's 3D. It's 3D data. Oops. I can cross-section, for example. If I go into cross-section mode, I can choose my axes. Uh, ZX plane, I can pick an origin point. I'll just put it through the middle because it's easy. And here I have a, um, a 3D model. We can zoom in. You can see the detail for yourself here. Everything's there. Um, I can zoom out. I can modify the section on the fly. I can rotate it. I can you know, move it around. I can pick the axes. I can pull it through the model, um, do anything I want to. Let me turn that off. One of the other things we can do, because um, we have all of the parts here, and we've, made, you know, we've not got rid of anything internally, I can actually explode this out to its constituents. So here you're seeing um, <laughs> every, little, every little nut and bolt coming out here. It's going to go down to every little, every little rivet nut and bolt is in this model. And if I um, got a rotation mode and move it around, you can see we have all of the parts that were there. So that's great for visualization. What else can we do? Um, because of the short time here, I've got a couple of little sample things here. This is our XVL Studio application. I told you it was an accurate data model. We don't sacrifice. Um, we can do interference detection. I obviously had to cook one earlier. So if I come in here and turn on my uh, interference results, I can come in here and let me pick uh, interference. So I pick here. It's going to show me where the interference is, where it occurs. I can cut a cross section. And if you, in this case, you've got more than one interference on one part. You can actually look at the model, move it around, and investigate. That's um, one example. Because the data is accurate, we're able to get those true clearances, in, um, interferences, and contacts. Something else I can do, if you want to share this set data out in the shop floor, I've embedded the same model in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet here. And I didn't do this just because Simon's next. <laughs> um, here we have associativity as our same player. If I click on this um, part here, it's going to highlight over here in the model. If I click over in the model, it's going to highlight over here in the spreadsheet. It's a great way to communicate around in the shop floor. And here you have um, comments that we've added. So here we've had added our own comments in. You can you know, pick on live data yourself, and it will, again, highlight over here. So you can import data from any source, link it to the 3D model. Last thing, if you want to put it out in an HTML parts list, here's the same thing. Um, same thing, same model, individual parts. All of the parts are here. You can see them. They're, they're all there. I can got the same deal. Like associativity, click on here. It's going to highlight in the little window down here and in the model over here. Great tool for sharing data around the shop floor. Great tool for engineers to use. 6.5 megabytes versus 1.63 gigabytes. And that's just a small satellite model. Thank you.